Hey guys, it's Adam here from Easy Apple, and thanks for watching another one of my videos. If you've been following my Twitter, you'll know that I recently received uh, a pair of new headphones courtesy of jaysearphones.co.uk. Now, Jay sent me a pair of VJ's heavy bass speaker headphones to uh, test and review for you guys. Uh, now, the headphones themselves, you've seen the um, unboxing video already, and you'll see that the packaging is a pretty cool, sleek design, and the headphones come in a foam backing, um, and you get the spare ear cushions, wire connector and uh, a 3.5mm stereo lead extension. So let's have a look at the headphones themselves. First impression is that, uh, or my first impression was there is no way that headphones this um, small and lightweight are going to be able to kick out any bass or decent quality sound whatsoever. But I was uh, very wrong. So uh, the majority of the headphone unit is made up of a uh, nice black metal plastic uh, material uh, that's incredibly lightweight. Uh, the headband is also made from like a super lightweight material with uh, a rubber non-slip uh, strip underneath so um, just prevent it from slipping off your head. There's no real need for cushioning uh, because the headphones themselves are so light. Um, let's just have a quick look around the headphones. So here's the outside of the earphone itself with the J's logo on there. And the headband, like a nice, almost like a satin finish. And the inside of the headphone there, just a simple square sponge. Now, the adjustable headband, now this accommodates uh, even the biggest of heads. And uh, although it doesn't feature stoppers every sort of few centimeters, um, it's, it's not necessarily a bad thing, it, it kind of makes the headphones a little bit more adjustable. So let's have a look. So basically when you adjust the headphones, they just slide and there's not that usual click that you're used to, you know, and there's every, say every few millimetres or centimetres is a click. Now, I don't know if this could pose a problem in the future, like if you use these headphones for like a year, is that, is that going to become a problem? Are they going to become really slippy? Um, no traction on there. I'm not too sure. I've only been testing them out for over a week, but I'm pretty confident that they'd be okay. Um, only time will tell. Um, now the speakers, uh, like I said, are an interesting square design and it kind of makes these headphones a little bit more unique really. The first thing I thought when I looked at Jay's headphones was, um, was just that I don't know, they almost look like custom headphones, they're very different from the other headphones that are on the market and there was just something about them that made me want to want to test them. Obviously they, they claim that they're very good sound quality so that was the main thing that uh, grabbed my attention. So let's have a look at the cord as well, that's always uh, an important factor for people when they're buying headphones. The cord itself feels really nice, um, not too thin, not too thick, um, rubber, it's sort of like a rubbery feel but very sturdy. Um, and there's plenty of length as well to use in your coat pockets or when your iPhone is on your desk or if you've got them plugged into your speakers as well. There's no danger of uh, sort of moving and your device flying off the desk or unplugging the headphones. Now the headphones come with the uh, extension cord as well which is just really really simple. Um, I don't really need to show you this but uh, just plug it in there and then you've got the full 70 uh, Full, uh, well, sorry, no, the extension cut itself is 70 centimeters. So, uh, I've been using these with obviously the headphones on my head, that's always the best place to put them, and uh, the cord sort of underneath my jacket, and then going to my iPhone, which is in my jeans pocket. And with some headphones, you struggle, you can move your head, and they become really the wire becomes tight because it's not very long. But with these, I didn't have that problem whatsoever. Um, in terms of general feel, I was a little skeptical about the lightweight design. 
and some flip this. Um, you know, I was skeptical of the lighter weight design of the uh, of the VJs, and I did think that I was going to be disappointed after using after using my Bose headphones for so long. Which, if you've been following my channel, you would have already seen the, the review of my Bose headphones. And as most people have put on there, or as someone's put on there recently in a comment, I sound like I really love my Bose headphones, and I do. I really do love my Bose headphones. Um, so I was kind of getting myself ready to be really disappointed with the VJs. But uh, the VJs are surprisingly comfortable and incredibly lightweight. I think they weigh about maybe less than a third or something of the Bose headphones. They, you can't even feel them on your head. Um, I mean, when you've got them on, you can either feel anything other than the speakers on your ears. There's no suction or vacuum created by the headphones uh, like there is on the Bose headphones. And I just kind of find them much more comfortable than my Bose headphones. Uh, because the Bose ones are so, uh, well, they're just much heavier and bulkier. Um, but um, in terms of being skeptical about them, it's, it's only when you plug these little babies in that you realise um, what the whole simple design is all about. And, and obviously that's just about being light, lightweight. And the, the main concentration has gone onto the sound. Um, so obviously as part of this week's review, I did test the sound on these and I was absolutely blown away. So, after unboxing them, I sort of jumped straight into the test by playing some of my favourite um, rock tracks, like uh, I don't know, Jimmy Eat World tracks, um, just because they offer a nice blend of like layered guitars, vocals, bass, occasional distortion, big drums, and um, and the VJs they kind of just silenced me for a few minutes. I kind of just sat listening to my music. And you know that's when you've got a good headphone because you just sit there and shut up and appreciate your music. Um, and it kind of reminded me of the first time that I listened to my music collection through my Bose headphones. Sorry to keep going on about the Bose, but I have to compare them to something. Um, the VJs more than cope with a mix of guitars, drums, you know, vocals, um, and gave me access to some of the hidden layers of sounds that you don't normally, you wouldn't normally hear using your standard headphones that you would get with your iPod or your iPhone. Um, so kind of after being a bit shocked at the quality of the sound listening to rock music I kind of headed straight for some uh, drum and bass um, just listened to some uh, band called Sub Focus and it was just to kind of I really wanted to trick them out with loads of bass and electronic music with all its layers I really wanted to trick these VJs out and, and, and I just couldn't because um, you know the they're so tiny and lightweight, these headphones, but they can really handle sort of deep, rich um, bass when it's alongside higher synth sounds. Uh, you know, those different different layers that kind of get lost in the mix with uh, with rubbish headphones. I've just been really, really impressed, and I think they're about like a third of the price of the Bose headphones. And they're really in the market for people who just want that really good, rich quality, but an extremely lightweight headphone. I mean, I don't think they're necessarily anything that I would go out and look for originally because I was looking for the Bose headphones just because of the styling of them really more than anything and the kind of sound quality that came along with it. But these, these, these are um, these have been a big surprise for me. Very, very good quality, and I'd say about up to eighty-five percent as good as the Bose headphones in terms of comparing them sound quality. But in terms of comfort, I. <laughs> Uh, the VJs actually win, and um, they are way more comfortable than um, than the Bose headphones. So yeah, so thank you very very much to Jay's Earphones.co.uk who sent me these headphones to test out. I would definitely recommend them to all my viewers and subscribers. You've got to try these out because they don't do themselves justice in terms of the way they look. Check them out, Jay's Earphones.co.uk. There's a link in the description box. Don't forget to comment, uh, rate subscribe and you can follow me as well on twitter at twitter.com slash mr easy apple um, so yeah there we go thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you very very soon with another video